The Kai Baby German Short Rose. As you picked up around the edge of your collar, you placed two markers. So this is sort of looking at it from the right side. So you picked up and you placed a marker A, which I'm calling A, and then you pick up along the back, you place a collar B, and you pick up to the next um, to the, the next edge. So then what do you do? Well, you turn your work and now you're working the wrong side and you're going to work your rib across you're just going to work your knitting I'm just going to use a pen here you're just going to work your knitting across single ribbing you're going to go transfer the marker of B over you're going to work around um, to A and then you're going to work one stitch past A and then you turn your work around you work a German short row, which I'll mark with an uh, German short row stitch, which I'll mark with an X, and then you work back the other way to one stitch past B, and then you would turn your work and work a German short row. What does that look like in actual knitting? And then I'll come back to that. Well, it looks like this. So I've picked up the stitches. There's my marker B right here this is where I was and then I knit across to A there's A and now I have to knit one more stitch according to the instructions and I knit it in um, in pattern so uh, I'm just seeing where I was this is a pearl knit pearl so the next one would be a knit so I work that one stitch past the marker and it'll be a knit to follow the ribbing okay so that's a knit and then it says turn your work so that's exactly what you do German short rows are not hard <laughs> but you can't be interrupted by the kids okay so you turn the work and then you work a German short row stitch which is so easy I prefer this to wrap and turn uh, so you just um, make sure that the yarn is in the front it's like you were going to purl and you slip the stitch as though you were going to purl it and this is the fun part you take that and move it to the back and yankity yankity yank pull it tight so that you're actually creating two uh, legs out of what's normally one stitch and that is called it's a funny looking stitch and that's called the German short row stitch so you've worked the GSR what I call the German short row stitch and then you work the single rib wherever you are in your pattern all the way back uh, to the next marker which is over here you work the one stitch past it, turn it, and do a German short row. I'll show you as I get closer. Okay, coming past, this is the row three on your pattern in case you're following that. So now I'm coming up to that um, stitch uh, marker B, and there it is. I'm going to work one stitch past it in pattern, and I can see that that's a knit. And then I turn the work, work is turned then I do a German short row stitch which is um, make sure your yarn is in the front like you're going to purl slip as slip as though you're going to purl move your working yarn to the back pull it tight yeah that's kind of unusual you're making um, two legs out of what would normally be one leg and then work your way um, work your way continue on uh, to the next part of the set in the instructions which is row four so I will knit my way down to that section and then help you through that next bit now we're just getting to that part in um, the end of row four where we've done a German short row we went through B we've knit a crack across we're going to transfer the stitch marker uh, for A we're going to knit through, uh, it says uh, knit through the German short row stitch until you reach the stitch then knit through it and then uh, rib or knit uh, four or five or whatever the pattern calls for for more stitches so you would do that then you would knit one two three four or five or whatever it is then you turn the work and then you work uh, a German short row stitch and then you would continue back this way 
past B, then you would knit, transfer the marker, knit through the German short row stitch, knit another one, two, three, four, five, whatever the pattern calls for. You turn the work, then you work a German short row stitch, and you knit past. Then you get this way, you work past uh, the last German short row stitch you did, and then you knit another one, two, three, four, five, or whatever the pattern calls for. You turn your work, you knit another German short row, and then you knit back this direction, past the marker, past, until you get to that last German short row stitch you did, you knit through it, and then you knit an additional one, two, three, four, five, or whatever the pattern calls for. You turn your work, and then you knit all the way around like this until you get to that German short row stitch. You knit through it, knit an additional whatever it requires, turn your work, I'd work a German short row stitch, go back, and as you can see you're building up um, building up a uh, height in the collar to shape it. And you just keep doing this the required number of times that the pattern calls for until you finally reach the point where the pattern says uh, you knit. You've hit that last German short row, you knit through it, and you just continue to the end until you reach the end here. You reach the end, you turn your work, you go all the way around like that. You knit through that stitch and you just continue and you pick up those last ones that you hadn't uh, worked before and you're done. Well, you're not done. You're done the German short row shaping part and then you would continue the ribbing. So I'll just show you that first little part here. So I'm just going to work it in the pattern. This is a pearl. Okay, so this is transferring my marker and I'm coming up upon that first German short row stitch and I can see it. Can you see it? It's easy to tell because it's a weird looking thing. Remember you pulled it tight, it now has two legs and you work it in pattern but you make sure you pick up both legs. So I know that this was a knit, that's a pearl, so this is a knit. So I work through it. Perfect. Now the pattern says to rib for whatever more stitches. So for me it's four for the size I'm making. So I go one, two, three, four. Right? Turn the work like that. Make a German short row stitch. So you want to make sure your yarn is in the front as if to purl. You slip the stitch as if to purl. Then you pull the working yarn to behind and you yank on it tight <laughs> so that it makes a double-legged loopy weird stitch and then you continue on down the pattern. I'll show you when I finish the collar. And this is what it looks like when you finish the row 13 of working on the collar doing the German short row shaping. I'm now at, I fully have finished from end to end and uh, you can see that by doing the short row shaping you have built up um, the back part of the collar which is what's required for this it's it's called a I think it's called a shawl collar it's required in order for it to lay right um, there's the work in progress now from this point on what you do is you're just going to work ribbing back and forth for another uh, I think I say in my pattern another 19 rows and what you're doing is you're building up this each side to um, stitch down and I'll show you that as soon as I'm there but again what you have finished now is you see how um, the collar is quite built up on the back so you can fold it over uh, and it'll eventually form this shape so um, go ahead when you have finished knit the other uh, 19 rows bind off and then I'll show you what that looks like.